everybody, I am back with a weekly Slow Saturday podcast. I missed two weeks because we moved house and it was just, yo, it's no wonder they say that after um, the death of a loved one is the most traumatic thing you can go through, then a divorce and then moving house. And I fully agree with that. Really, moving house is just yucky. It was, um, we still not fully settled. I still have curtains to hang that only arrived this week. And um, I still need to sort out my craft stuff. All my yarn has to be packed still. But I'm getting there. This weekend is not going to be slow. Uh, we still got some shopping to do. And there's a, a, um, a cabinet that I want to pack my yarn in that needs a fresh coat of paint. I'm going to do that today. So yeah, next weekend it will start to go slow again. For now, I'm just surviving. Okay, um, I've got lots of news and new stuff. Hmm. Do you remember when I sold my chagus? I sold them because I I wanted the wooden needles, and eventually I settled on the um, Knit Pro Ginger set. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. Hmm. I settled for the Knit Pro Ginger set, and um, but I, I didn't like the cables, the Knit Pro plastic cables. Now, I found um, Scopy, who is the importer of Knit Pro in South Africa, and I asked her to order me the stainless steel Knit Pro cables, and I am delighted. This is a stainless steel cable similar to that of Chagu. And it swivels. Extremely nice. So I am extremely happy with my cables that came. So if you, like me, are pedantic about your knitting tools and you want the Steel Knit Pro cable, I suggest you contact Scopy and ask them for it. I don't know why they don't import it in the first place because it's so much nicer than the plastic ones. But yeah, there is a stainless steel cable available for Knit Pro and it swivels. So while I was at it, I also ordered me something else. This is the Knit Pro Ginger Double Pointed Needle Set. I like <clears throat> to um, knit things like I cord on double pointed needles, sleeves on double pointed needles. So I'm very, very happy with the set that I got. Um, yeah, and also if you want, speak to Sasha from Scopy. Okay, so what is on my needles at the moment? I am busy with Summer Henley. It's. Um, the yarn was dyed for me, custom dyed, you should have seen it on my social media by now. It was custom dyed by Donna from Colorspun. Very, very, very nice dye job. The colors are popping without it becoming muddy and the um, charcoal background is still very nicely coming through. So I am extremely happy. So this little um, Henley, it's also going to have the Henley slip in the front. She starts off with an I-cord edge at the top. Um, she won't hang nicely now because she's not on a dolly, but you've seen her on social media. So yeah, there's the, the front. Um, I'm at the split now between the sle uh, sleeves and the body, so I'm going to split it this week. Actually, tonight. I'm going to split it tonight. I think I need to buy a new laptop bag. One that has space for a small knitting project to take on the train. But then I think by myself, Patilda, it's only 20 minutes there and 20 minutes back. Is it really worth it? And sometimes I think it isn't worth it. And sometimes I think, ugh, why not? So I'm still in two minds about that. Daphne came up with this idea. She said, start to do 20-minute um, projects on the train or 40-minute projects on the train. Small things, Christmas is coming. And I was like, oh, near. Mm -mm. I don't like such small stuff. E no. 
and ain't gonna happen. Okay, so somebody asked me, why do you always design raglan tops? So I will show you the answer. What I have on is she walked away. I'm sorry, I've got a little t-shirt on underneath. This is She Walked Away. She was published in the Yarn magazine. Ugh, I can't remember which one, but you'll find it if you check on Ravelry. Her back is very nicely lacy. She's got this lace panel. The entire back is lace. And um, the thing is, I am blessed. Very blessed. Um... I wear a 36 G cup so this is what I look like with a raglan and now I will put on a round joke top for you so that you can see the difference okay so I'm back with a design by Noma Ndlovu one of South Africa's very fantastic knitwear designers and this is a round round yoke now what happens if I look in the mirror, it draws the attention this way. So this looks even bigger than what it did before. And I prefer a raglan because this doesn't happen with a raglan. I don't like this. I just like the fit of a raglan much more than I do a round joke and that is why most of my top designs are raglan designs okay so one of my good friends Sam Samantha knitted um, a little top for herself <coughs> with stripes she used um, I think nurturing fibers and I don't know what else but it's absolutely beautiful it's got stripes broad color stripes and I looked at it and I said to oh you you really you're making me list for stripes man so in the group that we're in it's my little friend group we've decided that maybe we should all knit a stripey top so this is my challenge to you when I'm done with uh, summer Henley I am going to knit a stripey top I don't know if I'm going to use Rebel Henley's, oh, um, yeah, well, I can use Rebel Henley, I can use um, Rebel V, I can use Summer Henley, whatever, and then just knit stripes. So do you want to join us? We can all knit stripes together if you want. Yeah. And then, for those people in... Pretoria region. We are going to have a slow Saturday social somewhere in October. The date is to be confirmed. It will be in Vapadrant. It will not be at my house. Um, my dog is not the most friendliest of pets towards strangers. So I'm and his slobbers. So I'm positively convinced you don't want to slobber all over your knitting. So we're going to have it at the house of Elise Pietersche in Wapadrand. But I'll confirm the date still. So if you are interested in attending, let me know. Obviously our space is going to be limited. Is it somebody's house? We can't have 40 people. So it will be on a first book, first welcome basis, if I can say it like that. Yes. And that is all the news from me. I don't have an interview lined up. My mind is just all over the place. I'm, oh no. Sorry about that. Um, I don't have an interview lined up for you because um, my mind is just all over the place. I'm trying to find my feet in a new house, in a new routine, in a new job, and it's just crazy at the moment. So um, it's, it's a little bit everything but slow in my life at the moment. I'm planning to get it back to slow pretty soon. I hope I can. So yes, so that is it from me for today. But next weekend, hopefully, will be a proper slow Saturday. Yeah, see you then.